Hello you guys, this is John Berg, your Average Movie Lover, coming back to you with another movie review. Well, technically I wouldn't call this a review, more like a hype video for a movie coming out, coming out soon. Because today I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 movie The Meg, as hype for it, the sequel coming out on August 4th, Meg 2 The Trench. This will be more of a uh, discussion video, talking about The Meg and you know how it rates and everything to other shark movies out there but I mean mate but if you're interested in watching the the sequel to the Meg mark it on your calendar August 4th is when this movie will be coming out but today I want to discuss its predecessor so when the Meg first came out there were two lingering thoughts in the back of my mind the first thought of course was like oh my god here we go with the new shark movies because or with more shark movies because you know shark movies have been a thing since 1975's uh, Steven Spielberg's Jaws but I mean a lot of them have been relatively stupid but the other question in the back of my mind was how does this movie measure up to Jaws because not every shark movie that's come out was technically a bad one. Most of them were, you know, B-movies at best, but I mean, Jaws is the holy grail of shark movies, so it's coming up actually on its 50th anniversary, and even 50 years after that anniversary, there's still not going to be a better shark movie than Jaws. Even after we're probably all, you know, passed away, and that movie is 200 years old, it's not going to be bad. There's no movie that's going to top Jaws. But not to say that does, I want to see how the Meg, I wanted to see how the Meg measured up to that. Like, is it on the good side of shark movies? Or is it on the bad side of shark movies? That's what really pondered in my mind when I first ever saw the Meg. If I had to say, the Meg is actually a little bit of both. It's both good and bad. I mean, it's not horrible. But it's not amazing either. I mean, going into that theater, anyone who probably saw the Meg back when it first came out was probably... No one was going like, oh my god, that was a spectacle. That was amazing. Because that's not what the Meg was meant to be. What made the Meg good... Well, let me put it this way. This is, this is a better way to put it. What the Meg basically was, was a silly shark movie with a top-notch actor. Jason Statham, of course, is who I'm referring to. He was the main star of this movie. I mean, everything revolved around him, about when he first came in contact with the Meg, and that he was willing to put his career on the line to, to, to stand up for what he believed actually happened when everyone else thought he was crazy. So, I mean, there was that. And the character development of everything else was basically, you know, god-awful. Everybody was sidelined while Jason Statham took the reins. It's like, everyone sit here and let Statham do his job. Because I don't even even know how many of these main characters even got a line or even how many of them were alive. Because when I watched it, I was like, oh my god, that guy's still alive? How about that? <laughs> so, I mean, that's basically what you get in this movie. The main person you're going to focus on is Statham. But also, it was that silliness that made the Meg good. I mean, the ones who directed and wrote the story knew that the Meg wasn't going to be an amazing spectacle. It wasn't going to be something that was going to generate a lot of revenue. So they basically took a silly shark movie and just ran with it because they knew that's what this movie was going to be. So, and I'm kind of expecting that for the second Meg as well. I mean, if they give us that same kind of entertainment, the Meg 2 will be ju will be just as good. I mean, not better, but I mean, it'll be somewhere up here with, if this is where the Meg is, Meg 2 will be somewhere around here if they do the same thing they did with Meg 1. And that's just run with being silly and let the top-notch actor do his job. If I had to grade the Meg, which, I mean, the point of this video was ne wasn't about grading. I mean, it was just mainly about discussing, you know, the Meg 2's predecessor. It would most likely be a B-minus at highest. 
at that, and that's probably putting it mildly and actually being generous because, I mean, this is a shark movie, in my opinion, that is definitely in the category of good shark movies along with X Jaws, Deep Blue Sea, and The Shallows. So, I mean, I'm not going to get into 47 meters down because that's not really more of thriller in my opinion. It's more about survival. And I just feel the Meg, it's more of thriller than, survi than survival. Okay, so that basically wraps up this short discussion. If you guys have seen the Meg, please comment down below as well as what your thoughts of it were as well as I'd like to hear what your thoughts are of what you think the Meg 2, the trench, will be like. Also, if you like my other videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is John Berger, Average Movie Lover, signing out.